Hello everybody, this is Mar of Oblivion 13 here, off with another tutorial. Sorry about that, I got a little hiccups. Um, and we're doing the EPSXE, also known as the PlayStation 1 emulator. This emulator should be easier than the other few I did. Except for the Dolphin emulator, that was totally easy. Okay. First of all, you want to download this one over here. This is the latest one for the Windows. And you know, Linksys and Androids, you know, those. Okay, so you want to download this one. Then you will get this one over here. Okay. And then you want to extract the folder. And then I usually put it into a separate folder. That way, I could be organized. Okay, extracting is done. And it should be here. Okay. And now for the, for the BIOS. You want to put the BIOS in here, which I will not show you a description for it. I mean, I will not show you on where I got the... I will not put links or show you on how I got the BIOS. I will not do that. Alright. Now then, as for the plugins, all you want to do is to go to this website over here and then just download this one over here this one here should be fine if you have an NVIDIA or ATI card Or you can use this one over here, which is a modern card up to date Linksys drivers. If you have a gra different graphics card that has Linksys drivers in it. Okay, then over here, this here is the shaders. It's like custom. Let's see here. I got to remember this part. Ah, here we go. You plug in to use custom pixel shader programs to add certain functionality or display, display en enhancements. Like uh, this one here can create a black and white effect. And this one over here can create a blur effect. Let's see here. I like this one over here. A very nice shader collection including cartoon shaders and high quality filters. It should be very useful. I was thinking about getting that. Perhaps I should do a playthrough with that shader. Okay. So then you want to extract the... Extract the... Um, the RAR file here into the emulator's plugin folder. Okay, just like that. Okay, and it should be done extracting. And so but there you go. You got the graphics plugin into the plugin section in case that the emulator does say that the graphics card is missing. I mean the graphics plugin, not the card, I'm sorry. Alright. So now then we go I go to this one. This is like my main one I use for the PS1 emulator. Okay, I already pre-configured this, but I shall go over to configurations for you all. Alright. And see, you want to do, if you, and this is where the BIOS would be. All you think you have to do is to put the BIOS into the emulator's BIOS folder. 
which I will not give links for. And then go to this one over here. Click next. And then there is the graphics plugin that we just did. Put into the graphics, I mean the plugin folder. Okay, and then the core should be fine. This over here is fine. Okay, and controller. Which I already did pre-configure it. Okay, for, for right now, we're switching to digital. I'll worry about the DualShock controls at some other time. Alright, and then click next. And then it says it's already been configured now. Okay. Then if you want to configure the emulator for full screen mode, all you think you have to do is to go to the... Then you have to go to, um, let's see here. Ah, you gotta go to config. Then you want to go to video. Then you want to go to this part over here. And you click configure. And then just over here, click, just click this button over here saying full screen mode. But for this tutorial, I cannot do that due to it won't show up in the recording. So I'm going to keep it on windowed mode. Okay, everything else should be fine. You all can modify your own um, graphics settings at your own time. Just kidding. I'll modify these later. Alright. Okay, now then, everything else should be A-OK. -okay. And so now you want to go to Run ISO here. And... For this tutorial, I will be demonstrating playing Legends of, Legend of Dragoon, which is very fun. I, pl I, I definitely wish there was a Legend of Dragoon 2, or at least a remake of it in, defi in high definition. I would definitely buy that sucker. Alrighty. And sorry if this thing does not have sound. This game, this emulator does have sound, but you can't hear it from your end. Due to the program I'm using doesn't record the sound. But other than that, you should be able to see everything else. I recommend that you all play this game. It is totally awesome. And sometimes I do wish that the... Um, matter of fact, maybe I'll do that in a video game review. Alright. But, but the songs are really beautiful too. And there you have it. There you have it, the EPSXE, fully configured and working just fine. And this is Mario Oblivion 13 signing off. See you all next time.